This is the Arctic P12 PWM, an extremely popular fan thanks to its great cooling performance and low price. And well, it's not brown. And now there's an RGB version as well, promising even better looks with hopefully the same great thermal and noise performance. Now whether RGB actually looks better may be subjective, but we're gonna check the performance part with the help of some noise normalized testing. And while we're at it, we're also gonna throw the Arctic Bionics P120 into the mix as well. Now, I probably don't have to tell you much about the P12 anymore, given how widely popular it is. The P12 RGB looks very similar at first glance, but on closer inspection, there actually are some differences. First off, it has an outer ring, which is connecting the fan blades. I'm not sure whether this is needed because the translucent impeller is less stable or just to add more RGB glow. Either way, the non-RGB version doesn't have such a ring and also no rubber pads on the edges. These pads can also be found on the Bionics, which is the most premium fan that Arctic has to offer right now. So the RGB version seems to be a bit more premium than the normal P12, which is interesting given it's only marginally more expensive, but cheaper than the non-RGB Bionics. Now there's also the ARGB variant of the P12 with addressable RGB for those multicolor effects. And here the RGB text is a bit higher. If you like to check prices, I got all of those fans linked down below. Now for noise and thermal testing, we'll be mounting all fans on the Arctic Freezer 34 eSports. This is installed inside a case with an open side panel and we'll measure the noise at a distance of 20 centimeters. There are no case fans running, neither any graphics card fans, as this build doesn't have any graphics card. I'll link the full build video in the top right corner. Starting off with RPM versus noise, the Bionics fan can get pretty loud as it's the highest revving fan in the bunch. The P12 RGB has a lower maximum RPM and also a lower maximum noise level, but for a given RPM it's generally louder than the Bionics. Now for the real surprise. I knew the P12 was good, but I didn't expect it to come in at a lower noise level for any RPM than both of the more expensive fans. Though RPM versus noise is only part of the story, as a fan could be moving air more or less effectively at the same RPM. And the P12 RGB would need to be pretty effective as it has to spin at least 100 RPMs less in order to stay at the same noise level as the others. <laughs> Turns out, it actually is. These are the CPU temps for a 10 minute Cinebench loop and compared to the Bionics, the P12 RGB actually comes in half a degree lower. Now we're looking at the average temperature of the last 60 seconds here, which should give us a better idea than just looking at the peak temperature. But what about the original P12? Well, turns out, the cheapest fan actually is the best. I'm honestly very surprised that the P12 manages to shave off roughly 2 degrees compared to the others, which is a pretty substantial difference. And the Bionics coming in as the worst is also a bit unexpected. I mean, it's the most premium fan that Arctic has to offer. In fact, I even ran the test for the Bionics and P12 again and there was virtually no difference to the first runs. So I'm confident to say that if you have a freezer air cooler and you would like some RGB, then yeah, go ahead and change the Bionics fan for the P12 RGB. There's no real compromise in doing so. If anything, the RGB fan will actually perform slightly better. And if you don't need your PC to shine like a rainbow, the P12 is just impressive. Especially considering that you can get them in a value pack of 5 for what essentially is the same price as a single Noctua NFA12 or two Bionics fans. Thanks for watching. Bis zum nächsten Video.